you can open it. We're going to open it. <coughs> right click, open with Microsoft Office Word. Click on that. And you will see in a moment that the document opens. The document is now open. <coughs> We're going to create a Microsoft Word is not responding. Typical of Microsoft Word. There it is. Okay, so uh, let's go ahead and we'll get rid of the sample material. We're going to create a quick true false question. Click on the true statement and it responds. And it responds. It's taking an awful long time because, as you can see, I'm working on a number of things same time. Hit pause. So we've opened our document now. So let's <coughs> put some extra spaces in here. In fact, we'll go ahead and delete all of that. Don't need it. Click on the T statement, which is a add true false statement. Now when text is like this in black, you can just start typing right there. And we'll type a true statement. Uh, the color black is the total absence of color. It's a true statement. So we'll leave it at that. Let's go ahead and create a uh, multiple choice question. Multiple choice question. So let's see. Uh, it's a good multiple choice question. A lumen for an LCD projector is a measurement of the amount of what? Okay, so I hit the enter key and it gives me a little red dot. Uh, we'll say amount of electricity uh, produced We'll say the size of the bulb. We'll say the size of the case. Put periods at the end of all of those. <coughs> and actually, we'll take the periods out. Don't need them. And we'll say the amount of light generated, the amount of light generated. So that's the last of our statements. This one is our true statement. So we click on true false. Now you can see it's green, the rest are red. So we are almost done. We file save as, alt F, file save as, put it on the desktop, give it a new name, new name, save, and now we click on export. Export to GIFT. Make sure we put it back on the desktop. Little questions are just fine. Click Save. Most important thing is that we. Uh, most important thing that we need to keep in mind is that the document needs to be a text file. So we're going to go back desktop. We make sure we save it as a text, plain text file. Plain text. New name. That's okay. Save. All macros. Yes, that's fine. Click OK. And now let's go on to the desktop and make sure it's there. Right click, open with, notepad, bingo. There's our two questions. Uh, you'll be creating more questions than two, but now you know that it needs to open up as a text file. And you know it's a text file because it looks like that. Make sure your document is saved as a text file. Properties, right click, and right in here, you can see it says text document. Make sure it's a text document, people.